There we go. Sorry about that. Alright, what were we doing? Talk to Isabella in the hang in the uh in the tavern, okay? been there? Am I just now seeing that? Wow. Matt blind. Holy crap. I never have affairs with my crew. Once they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Men. Oh. You have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. So did the crew member mutiny? I mean, after you... You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I had the offending member removed. That got rid of the attitude. I... Oh, look, it's Hawk. <laughs> we need to talk. Ugh. <sighs> Bugger. I knew this was coming. I'm sorry I abandoned you in the Fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. I don't blame you. I understand what it's like to be under the influence of a demon. You... what? That's it. No angry rant. Are you trying to get me to jump into bed with you? Because it's working. I don't have to try. <laughs> this is easy! Hey, Mom. You mean you weren't ready to jump into bed before? Oh, yes. <laughs> Good point. <sighs> I'm far too predictable. Well, that's easy. Alright. Uh, I have a letter at my house. Let's go there. So, this is where you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had, uh, more charm. You don't like my new house? The house is fine, I suppose. But Lowtown. The smell of tar. And the sea. And the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley. Oh. Don't you miss that? I think this guy's back here just like, mm -hmm. No, I don't hear anything. You can get your thrills in Hightown if you know where to look. Oh. And where would that be? <laughs> just immediately shut it down right here. That would be funny. I can show you what I have in mind. I should go. That was an interesting diversion. Is that all I am to you? Oh, my wounded heart. <laughs> we were using each other, sweet thing. I was curious about you, and now my curiosity is... sated. Wait. You're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? What about love? 
love. <laughs> we were ratting. It has nothing to do with love. It's not always up to you. Love can be pretty persistent. I don't care. It can go pester someone else. Did you know I was once married? When I was freed, I swore I would never marry again. I can't imagine you married. <laughs> I was his plaything. A prized possession. He saw me with my mother at the market in Lemeron and decided he had to have me. My mother gave me away for a goat and a handful of gold coins. She didn't even haggle over the price. Bitch. How were you freed from the marriage? My husband took an assassin's blade to the back of the skull. And before you start jumping to conclusions, no, I didn't hire the assassin. I did thank him profusely, however. Ah, oh, Zevran. He was an artist. Your marriage was loveless, and you've never experienced true love. <laughs> oh, I've been in love. I fell in love with a man not long after my husband died. He foolishly asked for my hand. I refused to be tied down again, and I fled. It broke his heart. Destroyed him. I'm sorry it ended that way. He was better off. I saved him a lot of trouble in the long run. They changed the, the answers here. You're not afraid of being hurt. You're just afraid of hurting someone else. No. I... Look, it isn't like that. It's just easier this way. Now, if you're done trying to confuse the issue, I'm going to go. Reds of the Eastern Sea, what are those? I don't know. I don't have anything in my inventory called that. No idea. Maybe that's an armor mod for her armor. We'll have to look. Hey look, max friendship. Alright, so now it'll be a lot harder for her to like fall out of the friendship status, so I won't lose that buff. <clears throat> Uh, writing desk. A new friend. Right. You've had luck on your travels. There's another letter waiting on your desk at your leisure. I did see that. Thank you. Secondary <clears throat> side. All right, companions. Repentance. Company Sebastian to Lady Harriman's estate. She's got, like, the corset thing. I don't think she had that before. Okay, so her armor actually changed. I'm wondering if they get, like, Act 2 armor, Act 3 armor based off of, like, doing their companion quests or whatever. That would make sense. We need to keep an eye out for these people's, like, upgrades. Because he has attack upgrade. He has armor. She had defense and a socket, which I put armor into. Okay. I may need to adjust that later. I'm almost always using him. Let's 
Let's see. There's an enemy, cast haste. If you're surrounded by two enemies, use mind blast. What does mind blast actually do? Physical force. So it's just a knockback. Costs 10 mana. Let's say self surrounded by at least three. Let's increase that. Heal self, heal others. Wait, why are we on custom? You're supposed to be on healer. Oh. Okay, because of haste, I guess. <clears throat> Uh, enemy, any, usability, activate mode, heroic aura. Wait, what is, okay, hold on. What are your modes? You don't even have those activated, Jesus. Panacea. Health regeneration break plus 100 for all members within 10 meters. Requires 40% of all mana. Heroic Aura. Damage, attack, defense, and crit chance for all members. I'd rather have Panacea up, to be honest. So let's... 40% though, Jesus. Alright, enemy, any. Activate mode, Panacea. So we're going to cast Haste, then we're going to activate Panacea. Uh. Wow, how did these get so I don't remember these being that mixed up before. Winner's Grasp. Let's just turn off Mind Blast, I guess. Okay. Hundred and seventy five cold damage and reduce their speed by fifty percent. Here, let's do this. You not activate mode. Uh, usability, Cone of Cold. Enemy, Flustered, at least three. If there's three enemies clustered up, he'll use Cone of Cold. Okay, perfect. Hmm. What about her? Savvy dude? Decrease my damage, but increase my defense. Okay, that's fine. Try to backstab somebody. If an enemy is using melee, backstab them. Self, any status, activate lacerate. So her lacerate should just be active all the time. Twin fangs if elite or higher. Explosive strike if normal or higher. That's a duplicate, so that can be cleared. Rounded by at least three enemies going to stealth. Wait, no. So this shouldn't be self-surrounded. This should be enemy status. I mean, any activate savvy. No. Hold on. If self. Being attacked.
I guess if surrounded by if it's surrounded by three enemies, go into stealth. So she's going to savvy, stealth, and then start attacking. Activate lacerate. seems about right. Okay. I think we're good. Make sure I get all those things right, because it looked like uh, Anders and Isabella were a little messed up. Hopefully that makes auto-battling a little easier. Oh, that's right. I've got to use nerd nerd guy. Uh, I'll take her with me. That's strange. The door's wide open, and not a single guard posted. dexterity for crit chance so he's got crit chance are you a rogue you are a rogue uh royal archer archery all right so we're gonna focus on that critical chance stacking two percent per shot up to 10 10 shots that seems good oh this is the same thing as the other guy. Beric. Arrow of Judgment. Decoy health. Wait. Sebastian creates an ethereal personal decoy that keeps enemies occupied for a short time while he escapes in stealth. Fire's level 14. That's okay. Uh, and tactics. I guess scrapper? This is not the Lady Harriman I remember. I just realized we don't have a good rogue. Ah, fart! Okay, hold on. Load. Wait. Oh, that's switch character. I guess that's switch this character. Yes, let's reload that. Ugh. I don't have a rogue that can pick locks. Okay, did I fix him? 
Fantasy is in there. Okay, good. I'm gonna leave uh, Aveline out, I think. I'll just be the tank. I need somebody who can pick locks. him again. Oh, I also have this. Wide open. And not a sink. And then he is scrapper range. Okay. This is not the Lady Harriman I remember. <laughs> There is something very wrong in here. Mall. No one expected it to be better than mine, but let's look. Not. of a bitch what's taking so long flora why does no one in this house care what i want more wine or i swear i will drown you in the dregs she doesn't even see us this is no normal wine hello More locks. It must be molten. You, more coins. I want every scrap of gold in this house. Please, monsieur! There's nothing to fear. You'll be beautiful. Pour it over her. Don't! You'll kill her! He can't hear me. Baka. Perhaps I should be the one. We must end this madness. Male under tunic. Okay, two percent crit chance. Oh, he also needs the upgraded bow. Can't I just, like, take all his gold from him? Seems like the smart choice, right? Not because I want money, but because stop I visited this house often as a child. They could not have concealed such goings on. That seems to be where the quest is, so let's go this way. got money on these people crazy oh <laughs> lower lower i beg your pardon hawk i did not mean to expose you to such things no apologies necessary no the feather use the feather where have you been all my life today i am more than a man Come, felicitate me. 
That's a great line. I should use that. <laughs> oh, I could get it embroidered on my blouse. He has no idea we're here. I've known Ruxton Harriman my whole life. He's a complete prude. That's my kind of prude. Where's your brother? Let's ask him to join us. Yep, that's why I brought her. Look at that complex chest. I have the it's done. Ornate amulet. Plus 29 attack. We'll give that to you. Twenty two and crit chance. What's his attack chance? Seventy four percent. Ew. Yeah, look, you need the attack. Oh, damn. Don't worry, I heard the double entendre in my statement too. You know what they say about a man with big hands. He wears big gloves. One attack. What was her belt? Sixteen attack. Crit chance. What's her chance to hit? Seventy nine percent versus seventy seven. That's fine. Arcaven Longbow. Be a quest item. Turn back. There is nothing here for you. We just want to know what's happening. You shall not enter. Greater evil they were protecting. Oh, that's a long sword. Okay. I thought it was a dagger. But this dagger requires dex 28. What is her dex? 25. Okay. So I need to get her dex to 28. Two attribute points. Maybe I'll make her drink this. Yes. Wait until she levels and then I'll have five points to distribute. How far until she levels? Uh, it's about halfway. Okay. A ruin. So close to high time. I remember no such thing.
critical hit chance. Oh, the amount of damage by a critical hit. Okay. Because the next upgrade is going to give her three points, which I'll pump all into decks, which will get her to 28 so she can use the other dagger. So I'll put these two points into cunning. 75% critical damage. Okay, good. Do that. Uh, you attack him. You attack that one. There you are. How far is 10 meters? It's a decent distance. Okay. Uh, can you turn that off sometimes? Enemy. I'm gonna do this. No a way to deactivate it. Um, there's not an enemy defeated or like. driving a car. I guess we'd just leave it on? Kind of weird, but okay. I don't want to say enemy dead, because that'll be the enemy he's targeting. Plus, it'll be like, hey, there's a dead enemy. I just won't do anything.
There's something I need to do. So, enemy, visible class. Using ranged or magic attack. Four more armor and one more health. What does that take my attack down to? 88%? Like 90%. For just that little amount of health, I'm not gonna worry about it. But I can't click over there and just auto walk there. So what does Panacea actually do again? Health regeneration 100 for every for all party members. This mode allows Anders to use aid allies and regroup, but cannot be used at the same time as vengeance. Anders cannot cast any offensive spells for the duration of the effect. Oh, so as long as this is on, he just can't do offense. He could probably do, like, auto attacks, but he can't do this stuff. Oh. Well, alright. Because he says he can't do offensive spells. It doesn't say he can't use his auto attack. So there's that, I guess. So in his case, uh, enemy, health, lowest, with the lowest health, attack. Okay. So he'll slowly pick off the lowest health people. health 29 attack doesn't change her chance to hit I'd rather have a crit chance change his chance to hit no Oh, because he already had the same one.
It's a single-handed weapon. What's up with you? Great sword. First time I've actually got a loading screen. Hello? Haven will not submit. I put that idiot Goran Vale into the Prince's Sea, but the other families won't heed him. I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I've given you much. Your desires run deep. You've already traded your husband and your children. What more can you offer? What bargain have you made? Who is this? Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian! You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. I could create such desires if I wished. But it's far easier to nurture those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. You and your friend both possess it, do you not? You both wish to rise. Not if it meant selling out my family. How loyal were your friends to you? Everyone has a price. Everyone wants something. Do not listen to her. Oh, such a pious soul, masking so much ambition. Are you so different from my lady? You yearn for the same lands, the same power. I am the rightful heir. She is a usurper and murderer. You swore to put aside worldly goods and ambitions. But they couldn't stop you from wanting them. 
You'll be a good ruler. It doesn't matter what you do to get there. I'm not acting from ambition. I only want what's best for my people. For the people who will adore you. All those smiles they used to say for your brother. Now you'll be the shining prince. All you have to do is kill anyone in your way. Okay. Shade. Isabella, do me a favor. Kill. Kill the shade. Bastion, kill that shade. to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Uh, a helmet and a staff. Ridiculous looking helmet, but all is junk. Requires thirty four magic. What is your magic at? 32. So you'll be able to use that next next level. Let us return to the Chantry. I must... Sebastian! I am so, so... Sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do... What those creatures made us do. We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. You... You know mother, Sebastian. She was always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made mother too confident. She thought she could deal with a demon and not fall prey to it. Right. It is demons who should be feared, not mages. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. Don't blame your mother. The desire demon made this happen. I doubt many people will be so forgiving. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No, that's true. I'll tell you when I need you. Okay. Bye, everybody. That way.
go this way? Yeah. quick to fix these injuries and swap out our party members is this getting you any closer to your ship huh i just don't understand why you're working with hawk you don't seem to care about anything we do what's keeping you here mostly the sex hawk's an absolute tiger between the sheets i mean all night every night oh cute you're blushing You, her, her. I'm guessing Sebastian's thing can't be done until after we finish Repentance. That would make sense. Alright, let's go to her. Cannot use Fade's Fury yet because she doesn't have enough strength. Can, however, use this axe. God, that's such a... Okay, never mind. That's what's up. Vendor here? Yeah. Go back. Go sell our vendor trash. Good enough. I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demon's touch, but I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. You acted honorably. Why are you ashamed? The demon didn't lie. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be prince. Now everything he had is mine, and he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right, or simply to have what I never thought I could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the Chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will? At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, a shame to my family. The Chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do.
Don't let the demon make you doubt yourself. In trying to retake Starkhaven, I have already brought death to so many. Could I ever do enough good as Prince to justify that? You could be a just and fair ruler. Worry about reparations once you take your lands. I know you've done great things in Kirkwall, Hawk. I imagine your methods haven't always been scrupulous. But you clearly do more good than harm. I just don't know if I can follow that road. Rivalry. He does not like that. Interesting. What does rivalry give me? Health regenerate plus 50. Huh. Maybe he'll be better as a rival. Because <laughs> he'll regen health. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company mercenaries had it. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. You can defend your city without opening its gates. Grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the isolate of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. But my parents pledged me to the Chantry before I could show him. Were you and your grandfather close? He was a man of the world, Prince of Starkhaven. But he had the most unshakable faith in the Maker. When my parents threatened to pledge me to the Chantry, he told me he'd gladly trade his title for a life of contemplation. The Maker ordained a place for each of us, I remember him saying. We have only to serve. I'm sorry I never got a chance to meet them, to save them i know you're a true friend hawk you brought me this to remember and honor them but if i could bring back our lowest servant by snapping it in half i'd do it without regrets hey i recovered the friendship <laughs> all right i guess he just equipped it immediately Temperance is definitely junk. Now that he's a dedicated healer, I'm, I'm interested to put the healing back on him because that'll just increase it even more. It's not my damage output anyway, right? 